Hello there everyone. Hello there everyone at Isha Church School. It's Darren here, the priest, the rector at Christ Church Isha. You've caught me playing a game up in our Sunday school room here at the church. I'm playing this, uh, this fishing game. You see, you put these fish in the bowl and then you have to try, it's kind of difficult, you have to try to hook them so that you can, oh, I'll try this one again, try and hook them so that you can lift them out of the, the sea, out of the water, and do your fishing. So why am I playing that game today? Well, for fun, for one thing, but also because I've been thinking lately about a story about Jesus. Because here's an interesting thing. Did you know that the first, the first four people that followed Jesus, the first four people that Jesus called to follow him, to work with him in his work of spreading the good news of God's great love for everyone, the first four people all had the same job. The first four people were, here's a clue, fishermen. Yeah, the first four people that Jesus called to follow him were all fishermen. Let me tell you the story, in fact, about that. You see, one day Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee. Let's pretend this is the Sea of Galilee. Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee and he saw two fishermen. They were brothers. They were called Peter and Andrew and they were out fishing on the Sea of Galilee. And Jesus said to them, Jesus said, oh, come follow me and I'll make you fish for people instead of fish. And so Peter and Andrew, they left all their fishing stuff, all their fishing gear behind and they went and they followed Jesus. And then Jesus walked a little bit more around the Sea of Galilee and he saw two more brothers. This time they were called James and John. And again, Jesus said to them, give up your fishing, <laughs> come follow me and I'll make you fish for people. And so they did. And all that got me wondering, why is that? Why did Jesus choose fishermen as his first four followers? It's a good question, isn't it? Because... When you think about it, Jesus could have chosen, well, just about anyone, couldn't he? Jesus could have chosen uh, shepherds, maybe, as his first followers. After all, shepherds were the first people to come and see him when he was a baby in Bethlehem. Or Jesus could have chosen carpenters, you know, because he knew about carpenters. Joseph, uh, Mary's husband, uh, was a carpenter. Or Jesus could have chosen priests, or teachers, or bakers, or gardeners, or, well, anything really and yet he chose four fishermen why is that so i decided to play this game to try to figure out what is it about fishermen that made them such good followers of jesus and the first i learned three things i think from this game the first thing i learned is that fishermen and here's a good example whoops <laughs> fishermen have to be very patient yeah i don't know if you've ever been fishing i have of times when I was younger but fishing involves lots of waiting yeah lots of being patient you you sit by the the lake or the river and you have your fishing rod and then you just wait you wait for the fish because well you can't do anything until the fish come along so fishermen have to be very patient and that's a really good virtue isn't it Particularly, I think Jesus knew that that was a good virtue for helping him with spreading the good news of God's great love for everyone. Because when you're doing that sort of thing, you do need to be patient. Take time and be patient and listen to others and probably be patient with yourself too. And then the second thing, which I think the fishermen have, which I've learned from this game, is that you've got to concentrate. <laughs> to concentrate really hard because you wait and wait and wait aha and then the fish come along and then you have to really concentrate as you reel in the fish as you bring in the fish and again i think that's something that jesus knew that his followers would need if they were to listen if they were going to listen and learn from his teaching then they really had to concentrate on what he was saying and then the, thir the third thing, the third quality I think that fishermen have that Jesus noticed is that fishermen are very brave. They're very brave. You know, here in my little Sea of Galilee, there aren't very many uh, <laughs> waves or storms. But in the real Sea of Galilee, there can be big storms and big waves. So the fishermen, they need to be very, very brave. And I think Jesus knew that. 
And so he knew if they were brave being fishermen, then they'd be brave too, as they were helping him spread the good news of God's love for everyone, because sometimes that involves standing up for what's right. Sometimes that involves trying to change things so that they're better for everyone. And sometimes you need to be brave to do that. So I think you'll realize by now that those, those three qualities of patience and concentration and being brave are not just things for the fishermen, they're actually things for us as well, aren't they, in our lives? Because, well, let's go through them. Patience, oh gosh, we all need to be patient, don't we? I mean, whether it's at school or at home or when we're playing, we sometimes need to be very patient. Patient with other people, of course, but also sometimes patient and understanding with ourselves. And we too need to concentrate, don't we? Whether we're, whether we're fishing or whether we're learning things at school, you know, I always found when I was at school, I had to concentrate really hard on maths because I found maths very difficult. So maybe there's some subjects that you find you have to concentrate really hard on as well. So it's good to concentrate and to practice concentration. And then also we need to be brave sometimes, don't we? Because sometimes maybe at school or somewhere else, we see behavior that's not the kind of behavior that there ought to be. And so sometimes we too need to be brave and let people know, let the teachers or other adults know about this thing that's not the way it ought to be. So there's three qualities which Jesus saw in the fishermen. Patience, concentration and bravery are three qualities that we can use in our lives too. So maybe today, as you're going about uh, your day in school, you would think of those uh, three qualities. So I'm going to go back to uh, playing this, uh, this fishing game here. Let's see if I can uh, get one. And uh, whoops, but before, before, I think I have this one, yeah. Before I say goodbye, let's, uh, let's finish with a prayer as we usually do. And if you'd like to make this prayer your prayer too, then please join in with an amen at the end. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for the example of Peter and Andrew and James and John. We thank you for their patience, for their ability to concentrate and for their bravery, both as fishermen and as followers of Jesus. Help us too to be patient with others and with ourselves. Help us to concentrate on important teachings and help us to be brave when we need to be. This prayer we make in Jesus' name. Amen. So as always, it's really good to see you. I'm sorry I can't be there with you in person, but it's really good to be able to do this video for you and hopefully soon I'll be able to see you in person again. I'm going to go back to my fishing game and you all have a great day at school and uh, hopefully we'll all talk again soon. Okay, bye-bye for now. Bye. Whoops. Got it. <laughs>